You know, a lot of uh, international riders have ridden over, you know, obstacles and, and constructions. And when I saw this one being built, it was like, no ways, man. How sick would that be to ride over this thing? And uh, honestly, never thought it would be possible. You know, it's just, it's, you know, what are the chances of that ever being allowed, number one? And number two, what are the chances of actually making it? So, you know, it really just started out as a dream. And, um, you know, every single time I drove past this thing, I just said, man, I've got to ride over that thing one day. And, uh, you know, here we are and uh, we're about to do it. So I'm, I'm empty. The Moses Mobita Stadium was built um, for the World Cup. The arch itself is 2,600 tons of steel and uh, it's 350 meters long. At its highest point, it's 106 meters above sea level. From start to finish, it's about 550 steps to the top, which is a long way, and another 500 on the other side. We allow people to walk up the arch. We've never tried anything else. Walking it alone is quite a feat. The most amount of stairs I've ever ridden up is 20 stairs, you know, and um, now to do 550, the, the sheer volume and the magnitude of it is just astronomical. You know, 105 meters high, the gradient is really gnarly, and, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen. You know, it's all about mental toughness, you know. It's, uh, it's one thing to ride this, but another thing to believe that you can do it, and that's all I've been thinking for three months. You know, the difficult thing about this is that, um, you know, the, the, the stairs are pretty steep at the bottom and uh, the, the distance between the stairs is, is different to a normal flight of stairs. So, you know, the, the angle is going to be the, the most tricky part. And really, you know, initially I thought uh, the up was going to be the difficult thing, but I think the down is going to be pretty gnarly too in, in terms of the brakes overheating. So, you know, it's, it's the fear of the unknown. We have no idea what's going to happen. Phase one. Brian is a trials champion, SA champs. He's SA supermoto champion many, many times. You know, I think the, the kind of guy is he, he likes a challenge. I think he's at the peak of his performance now, and now's the time to make championship after championship stick uh, in years to come. This is the warning. It's really going to be trial and error. As I hit it, I've got to hit it at hopefully the right speed, you know, hopefully the right gear. Put my, my body in the correct position and just move around as we go. You know, it's a long way to go, so uh, I'm not too worried about the actual structure. I'm worried, more worried about what the bike's going to do, you know, it's, we have no idea. for so long that uh, you know the, the brakes overheat you know these these brakes are not designed for for, for massive buildup of heat and it's not built for this kind of distance to be to be on the brakes for so long so just had to really use the engine braking you know try and try and get a good balance between front and back brakes and uh, just keep it real slow just in case something did happen if you know if it ran away from me I'd have to jump off the back This is the warning. Yeah, you know, the adrenaline pumping so hard when you when I came out of that cable, cable car, you you know, it, it's difficult to explain in words, you know, your, your heart, my heart rate must have been over 160 beats a minute. 
it was really tough in terms of um, you know just just staying mentally strong the whole way up just because it's just it's just so long and so far and uh, you know the, the front wheel wants to keep lifting up all the time and um, you know the, the jolting the consistent jolting the whole way up you know definitely throws you off coming down the bottom down there and just looking back and just realizing that we've done it man it was like the biggest adrenaline rush you could ever imagine so honestly just blown away that we got to do it you know absolutely stoked that that we made it and uh, I'm alive to uh, to live another day and look for the next challenge